could be fined. As the situation at hospitals grows dire, the 3M company plans to send a half a million face masks to New York and Seattle. The CEO says it's doubling its global output to 100 million per month. And breaking overnight, Canada and Australia become the first countries to pull out of the Olympics. Both countries will not send their athletes to Tokyo if the games are not delayed by the pandemic. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is considering postponing the games, but says canceling is not an option. Rosie O'Donnell makes an all-star return on YouTube. The Emmy Award-winning talk show host brought back her show for one night only. It was all to help Broadway actors. She featured guests like Kristen Chenoweth, Gloria Stefan, and Barry Manilow. Over $500,000 was raised for the Actors Fund. And singer Rihanna is contributing an eye-popping $5 million. The funds will go to various local and international coronavirus relief organizations. Meanwhile, Best Buy stores are shifting their business to curbside pickup. As more customers are looking for home office equipment, the store is stepping up their customer service to an unprecedented level that will keep you in your car. And Tino's Vodka is jumping into the hand sanitizing business. The company announced it'll be using its distillery to make 24 tons of sanitizer. As this crisis deepens across the country, harsh hit states like New York are pleading with the federal government to send more assistance. While well, the White House insists that it is helping. NBC's Dan Sherman has this report. The number of confirmed cases keeps growing, while supplies of protective equipment are shrinking. It does keep me up at night. Uh, the, we are running low, very low. Governors and mayors appealing for more help from Washington. I believe the federal government should take over that function of contracting uh, and acquiring all the medical supplies that we need. The president pushing back. The federal government has deployed hundreds of tons of supplies from our national stockpile to locations with the greatest need. While congressional leaders struggle to agree on a massive economic aid package, Senator Rand Paul confirmed he has tested positive. Other senators may have been exposed. We have five members. Five members in self-quarantine. So everybody understands the emergency, particularly when it hits close to home. The news raising the question about senators being allowed to vote remotely. I would be totally in favor of it on a temporary basis. Ohio and Louisiana became the latest states to ask residents to stay at home. About a quarter of all Americans are sheltering in place, but not everyone is staying home. And those young people that are still out there on the beaches uh, thinking this is a party, yeah, time to grow up, you know, time to wake up. A reminder to take social distancing seriously. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. One of the biggest challenges that governors want help with is easing the burden on health care workers. The people on the front lines of this battle are reporting shortages of protective gear. NBC's Kathy Park has a story. A medical emergency as doctors fighting the coronavirus board supplies of personal protective equipment. Masks, gowns, and gloves are running critically low. It does keep me up at night. Uh, the, we are running low, very low. Can't afford to have our health care workers get sick and... and be out of work. As the crisis deepens, governors are demanding more help and supplies from the strategic national stockpile. So apparently the only way to get the President of the United States to pay attention is to go on national television and make noise about it, which I won't stop doing until we get what we need. The President responded. The federal government has deployed hundreds of tons of supplies from our national stockpile to locations with the greatest need. The National Guard now assisting in all 50 states. In Oregon, soldiers are setting up this field hospital as New York calls on FEMA to do the same inside this massive Manhattan Convention Center. The preps come as U.S. cases pass 30,000, putting the nation third in total cases globally. In South Carolina, Courtney Doster's seven-month-old son was hospitalized with COVID-19. Very scary. They really haven't had tested children or, you know, haven't done any studies in little small babies. So we're very, still very nervous. Ohio and Louisiana joining other states, asking residents to stay home. And Hawaii taking the extraordinary step of requiring all returning residents and visitors to quarantine for 14 days. I get everybody in their own personal space. Life at the epicenter of the outbreak on pause as cases in New York surge to more than 15,000. Coast to coast, leaders stressing everyone takes social distancing seriously. Time to grow up. You know, time to wake up. I was in these parks. You would 
not know that anything was going on. It's arrogant. It's self-destructive. It's disrespectful to other people. And it has to stop, and it has to stop now. This is not a joke, and I am not kidding. Oh, thanks to Kathy for that report. The Senate will take another vote today on a massive stimulus package to curb the impact of coronavirus. After the first attempt to pass the plan failed last night, President Trump tweeted, We cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself. At the end of the 15-day period, we will make a decision as to which way we want to go. And further complicating negotiations, the senator has now tested positive for the virus. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell has more. Coronavirus gets personal for the U.S. Senate. Kentucky Republican Rand Paul announced he tested positive. He is feeling fine and is in quarantine. Colleagues said Paul used the Senate gym, attended meetings, and a group lunch. Senators of both parties questioned their own exposure. We're in lunch together with Rand and uh, uh, hope he's doing very well. Senator Paul, an eye surgeon, is a friend of the president. And he's been a great friend of mine. He's been always there when we needed him, when the country needed him. And as you know, he just tested positive. Paul's diagnosis injects uncertainty into the Senate's ability to deliver on coronavirus economic relief. And tell me, y'all, if this ain't no, um, what's that, uh, what's that, um, that conspiracy when the, um, dang, I hate, I, the, uh, when them, um, what's that, I forgot the name of that movie, uh, now you know this, I am legend, but, uh, what I'm saying, uh, when those Wolverine them, uh, the, the y'all know what I'm saying. When Wolverine, uh, the whole crew, and then the mutants versus the humans, yeah. Cause look at this now. This is your life, so I hate to be like this. I don't want to be negative, but something is tricky with this whole Corona thing. I'm thinking. Was this a conspiracy? Cause look, uh, with that. Wait, let me see. Bacteria. I don't know. Did they make this stuff and it just get out of hand? Yeah, I, I, I really don't know. I, I don't want to spread stuff, but I'm just thinking. I'm spectacle. Maybe it's got some shot. I don't know, but. All I know, check your Lysol bottles, and you see, it makes me think, and then this, uh, also, this catch, um, they had to beg him, Trump, for help, but now it's get to them, I, I don't know, y'all, I really, I got to be careful, um, not to say the wrong thing, I don't want to falsely accuse, but it, Excuse me, but it just seemed like it may be something tricky. Let's continue on with that. Where's my remote? Well, I just we had to let y'all know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just something ain't smelling clean in the water about this thing. But even more draconian measures are being taken in an attempt to serve the spread of the virus. Travel within the country has been banned. All non-essential business activity will be suspended. And the situation across Europe continues to be alarming uh, as cases continue to accelerate. Spain's death toll is at 1,720. The country's health minister said on Sunday that another 394 people have died in just 24 hours. The government there planning to extend the state of emergency for at least another two weeks with police patrols and checkpoints across the country. Spain has the second worst out break in Europe after Italy. In Iran, the death toll has reached almost 2,000, with over 25,000 cases. But with a lack of testing kits and 
and transparency, there are fears that those numbers there may be much higher. And world leaders don't seem to be immune. In Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel is in quarantine after a doctor who tested her for, for the flu tested positive for coronavirus. It's unclear whether she has it or not. Uh, and although China still has the largest number of confirmed cases, the pandemic there has, has largely moved to Europe. The World Health Organization says there are more cases being reported in Europe uh, than there were in China at the height of the epidemic. Very sobering statistics there. Ali Ruzi from London this morning. Thank you, Ali. Oh, it's a Let me just say this. You know, drinking mom. I'm going to drink coffee, but I'm drinking my hot chocolate like somebody I know I used to watch. Oh, I don't want to cry, but somebody I used to watch in the morning, real news. I mean, oh, you don't know. <laughs> How much I miss it. You know who you are. And I'm going to stop saying your name too. Because I know they watching and they looking. But you know who you are. Get delivered to your doorstep. How to stay safe when handling your packages. 